welcome back to ACPL Teen Summer Reading 2020. Uh, this week we are making magic wands, and the first thing you'll note is how long it took me to get the packet up from wherever I put it before while making the video. But there it is. Now this particular packet, uh, yours will include um, a dowel rod like that, a piece of sandpaper in case you want to file it down to a point. Mine includes everything that didn't fit into y'all's, so there's a lot more beads and a lot more junk in this one than you're going to wind up having to sort through. I just kind of shoved it all in there and said I'll sort it out later. Uh, you will find also in your packets um, <clears throat> an entire bottle of brown paint. Uh, you will not need anywhere near all of it. You will find a little bit of gold paint, but uh, brown paint was on sale, so everybody just gets their own. The one thing you will need to supply for yourself is a hot glue gun. We are not prepared to deal with the liability of those. I did supply you with a few glue sticks, but uh, you will need to supply your own preferably low temperature hot glue gun. Uh, the process of this is going to be pretty straightforward. You will um, glue the beads and the uh, quartz pieces and the and everything else to the dowel rod. You can make decorations with nothing but hot glue if you really want to. Um, hot glue will paint over quite prettily. Once we are done gluing things on, we will uh, coat the entire rod um, with a single layer of brown paint. Uh, multiple if you really feel like it. I did not. And uh, then see what else we can do to it. Now when I made this, I mostly focused on making the handle part uh, rather than doing much to the very, very tip. I wanted to save that for a piece of the crystal. Um, so basically I just added a knob to the end and then I added some beads as symmetrical decorations around it. And you will see when I get that far um, that I filled in some of the beads with hot glue just to make them full instead of a hollow. And what, one of the things that I'm doing here that is probably not the greatest is I will start wiping off hot glue with my fingers. I have been doing stuff like this for a very long time. My fingers are very callous. I absolutely do not recommend that you do this. Just pop the whole thing off once it's cool and, um, and, and redo it. Uh, it will cool fairly quickly and it will pop off very quickly. This is one of the things you need to remember when making these little magic wands is that um, hot glue will pop off of wood fairly easily. If you want to sit there and write your name up the side of a dowel rod, go right ahead, it will work. Um, I just wanted to get some little veiny texture going up the, the tip of the wand, and so this is what I did. Uh, and then you have to pull off all the little strings because that's just how it works. I did not uh, glue the crystal to the tip of it. I wanted to wire that down, which is one of the reasons you have wire in here is because uh, I had wire. And uh, you can put anything else up the, up the sides. This is for you. This is for you just to see what you feel like doing with the materials that you have. Um, other than that, the next thing we're going to do is move things around a bit and get out the paint. You do want a solid layer of paint over the whole thing. You can always go back and, and change colors later if you have the paint and feel like doing it. Um, but just get the whole thing solid brown. The goal that is in your packet is for highlighting, which will be shown here in just a second. I just sped this up because painting a stick is, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you can figure that out without uh, a, a full speed demonstration. You want to let your wand dry. I let mine dry completely overnight because it was pretty late when I was working on it and I wanted to go to bed. Uh, then the thing you do next is you get out your gold paint and uh, you, your 
container will not be a squeeze container. You'll have to like just reach in there. I dabbed some of it on with my fingers um, because you can. The rest of it is going to be brushed on not with a brush but with a paper towel. You're trying to just barely hit the highlights. You do not need much gold paint at all. You are going to barely use any. Your left or like what well, with the effect that I'm going for, if you want to go for a different effect, go right ahead. I mean, this is y'all's project. Um, but I, if you brush it on like that, uh, just kind of barely rub it on with a paper towel, um, you will just hit the highlights and it gives you a very interesting antiquing effect. This is the same thing that we did uh, last year in person, there's no video, um, with uh, Halloween prop books. And it works just fine on these things. crystal to the very tip of the wand just because I think that kind of thing looks cool. Um, test your wire to see if it will go through whatever you want to stick on the top of your wand. If it doesn't glue it down, uh, it will work just fine. I just kind of like the look of the wire going through it. I like the spiral effect. Uh, so I had already checked this crystal and I knew that it would go on, so just slide it on there, twist the wire around, uh, cut it off if you feel like. If not, just keep wrapping until it's all gone. about this is that your wand is probably not going to look a lot like my wand. I went for relatively basic just to give you guys a, a quick demonstration of a couple of possible techniques. Uh, if you want to go full elaborate, please do show me. I really want to see what, uh, what you guys do with these things.